Hey everybody, this is Spider One, director of Allegoria, and you are watching Slasher Pepper. How are you? I know you're uh, pretty busy on the Freaks on Parade tour right now. How's that going for you? Yeah, it's going great. I literally just ran up to the hotel room to make this interview. Um, awesome. But it's been amazing. Just playing every night and finally have a day off. So um, I don't know. I don't even know where I am. North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you go on tour. Right. You get on, You your tour manager points you to the stage and before you play the show, he whispers in your ear, we're in Texas, don't forget. You know, so right. Best you can do. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Well, I hope, uh, who knows, maybe the tour makes it to Europe one day and I can yeah, see you guys. Up. Where are you located? I'm in uh, Holland, the Netherlands. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. that would be moving. Love to. Um, and obviously you're here to promote your new movie, Allegoria. And first up, I just wanted to congratulate you on the film. Uh, I already saw it, absolutely loved it. And um, I was just curious, what was it like directing this movie for you? Yeah, it was really exciting because I hadn't, I mean, this is sort of a new experience for me. And I had, I had done some music videos in the past and um, short films, but tackling a bigger project like this was, a, was, was incredible and a challenge, but really just, you know, the best time ever. I mean, I had the best crew and the best cast. I mean, these actors are beyond uh, anything I could have hoped for for a first film. You know, John Ennis and Chrissy and Scout and Bryce, everybody. It's just uh, phenomenal. So um, I, I, it, it was a great experience. Awesome. And, um, you know, some of my favorite movies of all time, actually, but especially in the anthology genre are some of the amicus films like the tills from the crib one the vault of horror uh, sure. and obviously you have classics like creep show but i always feel it's kind of a thing that you know after the 80s and maybe 90s we didn't really get many great anthology films so what made you uh make one now well i, I mean i didn't re really set out to make one it just kind of happened i i shot uh the first segment the acting segment with john ennis first <clears throat> just kind of because I had the idea of this, uh, you know, this acting coach who was sort of abusive. And um, and then when I finished it, I was the idea of this combining art, the art world with horror just wouldn't go away. You know, so uh, I was just sort of compelled to keep going with it and expand upon the idea. And that's when the, that's when I sort of <clears throat> came upon the, the concept of, um, you know, creating a different segment for each art form. But unlike most anthologies i wanted to tie everything together in some ways not so obvious ways in other ways obvious ways you know i didn't want to just do standalone segments that didn't have anything to do so if you watch the film uh you'll see that characters are related circumstances are related and um it's kind of a fun puzzle to put together um and it's funny some reviews are starting to come in for the film and i noticed that some people are missing some things and which i think is fun because if they get a chance to watch it again then maybe they'll see right they the first time yeah awesome um and then going into directing this film what were some of the best pieces of advice you had been given for directing you know i i don't know if there's any specific piece of advice but I, what i like to do sometimes is i just like to go down the youtube rabbit hole and right. watch <laughs> interviews from directors that i admire whether it's you know Stanley Kubrick or Quentin Tarantino or whoever, you know, and because they always have been very insightful things to say. And um, I remember watching an interview with Quentin Tarantino once and I, and I, I could be, I'm not quoting this perfectly, but the idea was that he said, just, you know, you may not be the most experienced person on the set. You may not know everything, but what you can do is know your own material better than anyone else. And I thought that was really great advice. In other words, when you're directing a film, no matter how small or big it is, you're going to get asked a thousand questions a day. You know, right. well, what shirt should he wear? Why is he doing this? Why, why am I standing over here? Why am I, you know, why are we lighting it this way? And if you know the material better than anyone, then you should have, you should have the answer to those questions. Yeah. And if not, you just pretend like you have the answer to those right. questions. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Nice um and uh do you hope to do more movies in the future 
Well, yeah, I mean, uh, in fact, I've already done another one. We just wrapped on a oh, second. Nice. There, yeah, called Bury the Bride. It's another horror movie. It's much more, you know, I don't know how to put this. Like if, if Allegoria is a cerebral movie, you know, for your brain, Bury the Bride is a much more physical movie. There's, there's more, uh, uh, it's more ferocious and intense. And uh, so we, we definitely stepped it up a notch for the next one. Oh, nice. Well, can't yeah. wait to uh, get to check that one out then. Yeah, for sure. We're, we're editing it now and hopefully sometime next year it'll be available somewhere. Awesome. Cool. And uh, then final question, if your life was a movie, how would you want it to end? <laughs> oh, God. Well, you know, I'm not a big fan of, necessarily happy endings but if it was my movie about yeah. me so for a happy ending right <laughs> right I mean, it, you know last night i just revisited one of my favorite movies of all time taxi driver oh, and i was sweet. thinking wow what i wanted to end like that and just murder and mayhem and but it is sort of a happy ending i mean he does uh, survive so i guess that's the key since we're talking horror movies the ending is you just want to survive right awesome yeah. <laughs> sounds <that>. great <laughs> And uh, for everybody watching, Allegoria will be on demand, digital and streaming on Shutter August 2nd. So make sure to watch it as soon as available. Yes, awesome. and watch it many times. Just watch yes. it over and Just over and over. Yes. Repeat. <laughs> exactly. That's what we want. Eat, sleep, watch Allegoria, repeat. Yeah. <laughs>